Schuyler Mansion was the first Georgian mansion in Albany. Now, I say Schuyler Mansion, that's what we call it today, but we think that the Schuylers called it the Pastures. Uh, and that was named for the pastures that um, really were all the way down to the Hudson River. You had a clear view over to Greenbush at that point. And the reason it was built on this hillside was so that all the people coming up the highway, which was the Hudson River at that time, would see this house before they got to Albany. This house was a very active uh, house, a public house, at least these front rooms, uh, and visitors knew immediately when they walked in because of the clues from the architecture which rooms were public and which were more private. And uh, certainly uh, a black butler or an enslaved person, and we do know his name here, uh, would have greeted visitors. And then the opulence of the hall might have intimidated them a little bit. Um, we know that they had a crystal chandelier and um, opulent, uh, very elaborate wallpaper, um, unlike anything that they had ever seen before. So it probably was um, a very intimidating space when they came in and helped them remember that the Schuylers were you know, one of the leading families here in Albany. We do feel that probably a younger generation had an easier time working out of slavery, and certainly um, Alexander Hamilton and Elizabeth uh, probably had tendencies that their parents didn't away from slavery. Uh, but even toward the end of the 18th century, uh, slavery was becoming unpopular. It was still the status symbol, uh, so wealthy families had a hard time shedding it, but that didn't stop these wealthy men becoming members of the Manumission Society and uh, sort of the abolitionist movement. It was a political move. Uh, it was now less popular to say that you were for slavery. It's a real hard thing for us to come to terms with today. We know that Alexander Hamilton was selling enslaved people uh, for his sister-in-law, Angelica, when she was in London. She also writes a letter to him uh, asking him to look for uh, a trusted enslaved person that she had when she was here uh, in America that she would like to own again when she comes back to America. And we don't know how that played out, but certainly she trusted that he would um, carry this out for her. Whether he did or not, we're not sure, but um, it seems more likely that he would have.